I might be too strong out on compliments, overdosed on confidence. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about a couple things that I love. But before we get into it, I need you guys to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And absolutely hit that like button. We love to see the thumbs up. I'm trying to get at least 50. If I can do 50 likes, that would be awesome, amazing. You know we look out for each other but so really quick I have to go look for a coffee table because the coffee table that I have now I had for like 10 years and my mom came over and was like it, it gotta go it has to go it's and she gave it to me actually so and I don't even remember how long she had it so that's how old it is I'll probably show you guys what it looks like but I did see one that was really really cute and um, I'm just gonna take a look at it in person because it's totally different when you see it online. But, um, all right, so let's get into a couple things. Um, perfume, and lately I've been into designer earrings. I've been loving designer earrings like the Chanel, the Versace. Of course, everyone's been wearing um, the LV gold hoop earrings. Those are cute too. But, um, let's see. So, first I got these, which is my Chanelis. Um, I wore them already, you've probably seen them in a post. But these, aren't these incredible? Let's see if y'all can see them. Aren't those so cute? So this is the post back here. And you take the post off. And they hang in your ear like that and let me see if I can put them on for you guys but I love them I wish they were a little bigger but that's fine it's fine it's fine so you put them in your ear like that and this is the comp the complicated part because you gotta really focus because the post you gotta line it up just right Love them, love them, love them. But it was between these and, of course, I got on my my ghetto jewelry, my bamboo earrings that I love. It was between these and the Chanel hoop earrings, and I still think I'm gonna get the Chanel hoop earrings because those are fire. But these are the Chanel hoop earrings that I just keep thinking about. I keep dreaming about it at night. And night girls nice. Oh, I love these. Look at these. Fabulous. I love them. I love them. I love them. Um, you can rent them for four days um, for one fifty nine. If you're not, if you're scared to make a purchase, a big purchase like that, and you just want to try it out, test it out, you can rent them for four days for $150. Um, but yeah, I love these. So, and then I don't know what they're made out of. Like, I know you're paying for the name, like you're just paying for this, but the packaging is really cute. But I don't know if they're sterling silver, if they're stainless steel, like what are they made out of? I, I don't know. They're just made out of um, luxury. That's all that I know. So then the other thing that I got that I wanted to share with you guys for Valentine's Day. I know we're in April now, but for Valentine's Day, I had asked my boyfriend for some Versace earrings that I saw and that I fell in love with. Oh, let me show you the packaging. So this is the packaging. Real cute, real cute. And then you open it up. Tell me these aren't everything. These are everything. This 
supposed to play off that safety pin, you know, because Versace's always doing the safety pin look with like their dresses, like Tony Braxton had one and Megan Thee Stallion had one recently at the Grammys. But Versace loves to put safety pins in their clothes and their dresses and their shirts. So it's the play off of that. Mm. Tell me these. Tell me these. On everything. Tell me. I love them. So he got me those for Valentine's Day. I'm gonna see if I can find the find the link. I'll try to link everything down below for you guys, but I'm gonna put these on for you so you can see. But they had different ones. They had a silver, because I'm a silver white girl go girl. I really don't do gold, but I mean I made an exception for these. But look, look at these. Show me love, love that. Oh, there's my dog Dallas. Oh, she's not over there. It's like what? What was said now? Who? Who? Who said something? Oh, I thought you were talking to me. Oh, okay. Okay, so I decided to put on my other Versace earring for the rest of this. If I can get it, if I can get it in. Oh, pause. But, um, all right. Yeah, I was like, you know what? Let's just let's just wear the Versace for the rest of this. And then, okay. Is she fabulous? Is she fabulous? Is she ready? Is she ready? Is she ready? All right. So let me stop playing. Okay, so the other things I wanted to discuss is just perfume. So I'm sure all my girls are on the up and up. If you're on this channel, then you already love beauty and fashion and um, everything fabulous. So you already probably know about the It perfume. I don't know what Dow Dow was growling at. But um, so recently... I just found out, I'm probably late to this, but you guys probably already know that it came out of the perfume that Rihanna loves to wear. Because if you Google Rihanna, of course, you're going to see pop star, superstar, um, and then the number two thing you will see for Rihanna is that she smells wonderful she smells amazing like everyone knows that about rihanna like you know that she's beautiful and she's a billionaire but also you know that she smells divine like she smells delicious like that's just a rumor about her so it finally came out what perfume rihanna wears and it's funny because she doesn't wear the perfume that she put out remember recently she put out um her own perfume under her fenty beauty well, people were assuming they went out and sold it out. I haven't smelled that yet, by the way. Let me know if you have and what it smells like. But everyone was thinking, oh, this is, I'm going to smell like Rihanna. This is what Rihanna wears. And no girl, she doesn't wear that. So um, it came out because her stylist or her makeup artist had said it on live by accident. And she looked totally annoyed. Like he said it and was like, anyway. So, long story short, she wears, and I got the sample because, girl, she wears this, um, Killing On, Love Don't Be Shy. So, this sample alone cost me $50. Usually, these are like $25, $30, but this was $50. Um, the bottle itself, the big bottle, is like $200. So, I was like, mm, I'm not going to do a blind buy. And spend two hundred dollars on a perfume that I've never smelled before. But I actually, I just had such belief that it was going to smell amazing because everyone says Rihanna smells amazing. And Killing On does seem like something on the low key. You know, Sephora sells it, but it's not something that everyone thinks about when you think about perfume. So I'm like, oh, well, maybe this is a low key secret. Well, it used to be. So I went and brought it, and. My opinion on it is, okay, first let me say this, just to give you um, some perspective. My favorite perfume, which everyone jones me about, is Chanel Number no. 5. I've loved Chanel Number no. 5 since 
I was 18 years old, like Chanel number five was always that girl for me. Like I, I love the scent of laundry and soap and clean scents. Like I love those scents or baby powder. Like I love that type of scent. So Chanel number five is like the ultimate <laughs> clean scent for me. Um, and I also love Versace Yellow Diamonds. I own that. I wear that a lot. My top tier favorite is I Am Juicy. I always get so many compliments when I wear that. But that one you have to be careful with because, anyway, is you just have to be careful with it because if it's a dark color, like I see Walmart sells it now, and I was like, oh, no, hold up. But if it's a dark color, then it's, it's not going to smell the same. You have to get it from Sephora and Macy's. And it has to be a light, light, light color, like a champagne color for it to smell like it's supposed to smell. I noticed that. But anyway, so I smelled this. I put it on Love Don't Be Shy. And it smells like, um, it smells like marshmallows and caramel. And um, it smells like a food. It smells like you're in a bakery, like you walk into a bakery. You know, it's like vanilla, chocolate chip cookie, marshmallows, like everything sweet and and delicious. That's what it smells like. So it's not bad, it's not good. I love those scents. I love that, like, I love that scent to be my house. Like I want my house to smell like that. Those are my favorite type of candles. When my house smells like an apple pie or there's, cookies in the oven, baking, like I love that scent for my house, but on me, I don't know. So did it blow me away? No, not at all. And I was waiting for people to compliment me. I was like, well, maybe it's just me. Maybe um, when I go out, I'll get compliments and people will be like, oh, you smell amazing. I didn't get that one compliment <laughs> wearing this. And then I tried to mix it up, try to remix it. And spray vanilla woods. I also love vanilla woods. Um, even though it's not a clean scent, but I don't know, something about it smells amazing. But I would spray vanilla woods on it with this to see if it would help bring it out more or it work with my chemistry. Mm, not really. So, um, yeah, try your own wrist. But if you love those sweet, delicious type of smells on you, then, yeah, definitely give it a go. And then I also brought YSL Libre because everyone was raving about it. And I do like it. I don't know if I'm going to buy the big bottle yet. Only reason, full disclosure, I will buy the big bottle is because my boyfriend loves the scent on me. He loves the scent on me. And I know he loves it because I will put it on. And we'll go out or whatever, and he'll say immediately, like, oh, you got on that YSL? Like, he just knows. So I know it's sincere, and he really does like the scent. Like, he can distinguish it between my other scents. So, um, yeah, the YSL scent, it smells good. It's I'm trying to describe it. It smells like... It smells clean, but it smells um, like a sexy clean like a sexy laundry um, smell, but also sweet, if that makes sense. It smells like a, uh, like you just took a shower and you just washed your clothes and game, and then you decide to put vanilla on. That's what it smells like to me. So, yeah. And then lastly, the good girl said, I love. I love this scent, um, but I don't wear it often, funny enough, but I, this scent is another scent that smells, um, smells like vanilla, it smells kind of clean, the bottle is everything, but um, and it has like a little bit of spice to it, I would say, it's like a spicy vanilla clean scent. But I just don't wear it a lot for some odd reason. But I do love it. But it's just not, um, I always forget that I have it. I don't know, does anyone else do that? Like you forget you have a scent and you just don't wear it. But 
I do that too with my Gucci Guilty. I have Gucci Guilty, which smells like the ultimate baby powder scent. And I forget I have that too. Like I have to remind myself like, oh wait, let me wear this today. But um, so this is another scent that I love that you guys should check out. And that is it. I'm going to show you guys my coffee table. Um, and then I am going to go to the store and see what it looks like in person. I will bring you guys along with me. And that is it for now. Oh, you know what? I should show you guys because I'm looking at it right now. My Fendi purse is real quick. So I have this Fendi purse, Fendi purse that I have fell in love with. Like, I don't wear any other purse but this purse. You know how people switch their purses with their outfits um, because it's the weekend or because I'm going out? Like, no, I have not. I, I fell in love with this purse and I'm like, I'm wearing this purse every day. I'm wearing it with whatever. I'm wearing it with jeans. I'm wearing it with sweats. I'm wearing it with sequins. Don't matter. Like, I love this Fendi bag. And it's the baguette. This baguette bag has... Is everything. Okay, y'all. This is the coffee table that was passed down to me from my mother. And then I held on to it for about a good 10 years. And, um... This is the one that I'm going to finally let go, but it's been, it's held up. It's held up. I'm not going to lie. And it has matching end tables over there. I have two of them, but, um, I guess I'm going to donate it. I really hate going through the trouble of selling stuff. I just like to donate it and just give me the receipt. I'll write off my taxes, but I'll show you guys the one that I'm going to replace it with. But this is my coffee books, of course, on the run. I love this coffee book because I am VP of the beehive. Like, I don't play about my Beyonce. And these pictures in here is just dope. Dope. And then I also have this as a um, coffee table book. Oprah. This one's still sealed. This one probably would have been still sealed, but it didn't come sealed. So, which is probably good for me because I would have left it sealed. But I actually, and everyone else who comes over can actually go through it. Um, and then it's the book I'm reading from the library. It's pretty good. But yeah, so I'll show you guys the table I'm going to replace it with. Hey y'all, so today is Friday, April the 8th, and I am off today, I'm trying to run some errands, trying to do a couple things real quick that I can. So I'm um, waiting on my cleaners to come back from lunch right now because I brought these jeans from Zara. And of course, I gotta get the waist taken in, but they're really, really cute. I'll show you guys later. But um, they're really cute. They're high-waisted. They have a rip in the knees on both um, both knees. And they're like the perfect length. So I love these. I just have to take them in at the waist. Um, and then maybe I'll take you guys with me uh, when she, when she uh, fits me. Um, sorry, I got distracted by this bus. See if it was coming by but um earrings i got on my chanelies my chanelies and my red shades to match my red bracelet and i gotta do an outfit of the day but that's it for now i got on my fave fendi purse and i'll talk to you guys later Yeah. Just like a few inches. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna mark it like here, but she's gonna distribute it. Okay. Like in two pins. But this is just... 
strapless I'm gonna try this strapless bra on and made in form it's pretty good and it's only $20 and then I like the color of these jean shorts and I like the buckle on this oops and this is what a size 10 also got a size 6 because Target runs a little big and I got these too without the belt loops but these look like they might be easy boots, a little too short for me. But yeah, let's see what they look like. These aren't bad. Kind of like a naked though. But I like the color for something I don't have. And that much of a gap in the waist, so that's good. Um, how much are these? These are 20. It's cute. Think about it. Got on these. These are pretty cute. Kind of hard to button no zipper buttons all the way up. But they're different. They're long. Not too much. Well, a little bit of a gap. It's not too bad. And these are 20. Not bad. They're cute, casual. Again, something different to have in my wardrobe. Hmm. I like it. pretty big. It's too big, but it's nice. And I have this. I kind of like that one though, too plain. Thank you. 
big, it's pretty small. A small table 